Hi, I'm Nikki Reed, Community and Economic Development Director for the City of Asheville. The U.S. Small Business Administration, SBA, has opened a Small Business Assistance Center at the Asheville Chamber of Commerce, 36 Montford Ave. The center is here to aid in disaster relief in the form of low interest loans for businesses and also for nonprofits, homeowners, and renters who have been impacted by the storm. SBA provides quick access to funds and typically no payment is due for the first year. So if your home has been impacted by the storm, you need to build a new roof, for example, SBA can help. Or if you are a renter and need funds to replace damaged furniture or other belongings, SBA can help. SBA can assist if your business needs working capital. There's more to learn, so I encourage you to get in touch with SBA and learn more about how this loan program could help you, your family, or your business. Additional details can be found at sba.gov or in person at the Chamber of Commerce, 36 Montfort Avenue. And now I would like to introduce representatives from SBA to share more. Okay, uh, my name is Alan Thomas. I'm the regional administrator for the Southeast United States uh, with the US Small Business Administration. And it's great to be here with you uh, to go over uh, all about SBA and, and all the uh, resources that we provide that are so important. If you're a homeowner, a business owner, a renter, or anyone in the community, please take out a notebook right now get your pen ready, take notes. This is really, really important information uh, that's going to be invaluable for you for the next three months, six months, year to two years as we rebuild and rejuvenate and uh, move this uh, community forward. Also joining me is Mike Ariola, who's on here. And uh, Mike, introduce yourself, if you will. Yeah, uh, gratefully, Alan. Hi, everybody. I'm Mike Ariola. I'm the district or state director for the state of North Carolina. Uh, for the U.S. Small Business Administration. Prior to moving to Charlotte 10 years ago, I was uh, the, the senior area manager for Western North Carolina, based in Asheville. So I lived in Asheville from 2004 uh, to 2014. So very long history of work and, and many, many friendships that still endure to this day. Thank, thanks, Mike. And, and just for a further reference, um, while my office is in Atlanta, I am a North Carolina native a mayor in North Carolina for three terms, uh, made it through Hurricane Florence, Hurricane Matthew. So I know what we're dealing with here and we know that there is another, there is, there is light at the end of the tunnel and to the other side. So what we wanna talk to you about really quick as you look for resources, there are immediate resources that you're working with right now. I know that FEMA is uh, providing as well as many nonprofits and folks in your community to get, to, to get you situated and get you stable. Which is, which is essential right now. But I know many of you are now thinking and shifting your mind to what do I do next? What about my business? You know, what about my home long-term? What about my, what resources can be pulled together? That's what we're gonna talk about. And it's something that SBA has been doing for 70 years across the entire country. So um, basically here's what we'll get into. And I'm gonna hand it off here to Mike to kind of get into the details for here in North Carolina. But what SBA does is we provide access to uh, resources to uh, low interest, long-term loan opportunities. Uh, whether you, again, if you're a renter and if you have lost all of your worldly possessions, we'll put resources in your hand to be able to help take care of that. If you're an owner of a business, if uh, you have a home and need help, SBA will take a look at, at your information and Mike will walk through how we're gonna do that. And because you, you can do it virtually in terms of starting, getting your clock running immediately if you would like, or we could wake into our BRC Business recovery centers are located there physically in Asheville or somewhere uh, throughout uh, Buncombe County or throughout the entire mountain region. So uh, now I'm going to hand over to Mike to kind of step through some of these details and why this is so important. And I will add this one little other point. Even if you think you have insurance, even if you think you have other coverages, uh, as I've found and we've worked through these disasters before, uh, it's always best to go ahead and register now for where you may need help. And, and then if you do not need this resource, you do not have to take any of this money or any of this resource. And then also, if you take the resource, your insurance can come back and, and take this out. So understand those are all the elements that are in place. Another thing I wanna tell you about SBA before I hand it over to Mike is, understand this, we're here with you for the long haul. Long after the media leaves and everybody else moves forward, your friends at SBA are gonna be here. 
Uh, we've always been there and it's time for us to be able to help you and be able to have resiliency and move forward. So without any further ado, I'm gonna hand it over to the state director, Mike Ariola. Yeah, thank you so much, Alan. And uh, it's a pleasure to be here. So as Alan was mentioning a moment ago, SBA disaster loans are available to not only small businesses, but to qualified private nonprofits, um, homeowners and renters. And we are really the, uh, the lender uh, for America's disaster recovery. We've done disaster loans for many, many years. Uh, so we can help folks uh, with their small business if they're looking to replace their building, replace their equipment, and you know, for, for physical damages. We can also help businesses with what we call economic injury disaster loans. As a result of the hurricane, many small businesses are closed, therefore there's loss of revenue. So we can provide working capital loans to help kind of replace that lost income, all right? So that's on the small business side, as well as nonprofit side. Then on the personal or individual side, not only can we help homeowners uh, with repairing or replacing their homes up to half a million, but we can also help renters replacing uh, their personal property. And that is up to 100,000. That 100,000 is also available for uh, homeowners to replace personal property. And by the way, the maximum on business loans is 2 million for both economic injury as well as business loans. So the amounts are, are, are pretty sizable. Um, the terms tend to be very, very long. For example, for replacement of a home, you, you would get a 30 year loan. The interest rates are very, very low and very favorable. For home loans, uh, if you're determined that credit is not available elsewhere for you, then you can get a fixed rate of 2.813%. That's a fixed rate for 30 years, it's very low. If it's determined that credit is available for you elsewhere based on a good credit score, access to resources, then your interest rate on that home loan is 5.625%. Uh, so very favorable rates of interest. Um, I'd like to repeat what Alan said uh, about getting in queue and you know applying for these di disaster loans um, yeah, anyway. And that is, we know, I know from all the, the media coverage um, as well as talking to friends and colleagues of mine uh, that that many of our small businesses uh, have been completely demolished. You know, I've seen footage of Chimney Rock. I've seen footage of Swananoa. Um, many of our small businesses have been completely demolished. And so um, I know that first top of mind with everybody else is getting water, getting power, getting power, uh, cell phone and internet coverage. And so getting a small business loan right now might not be top of mind, but eventually it will be. What I'd like to suggest is for those folks, you know, who have completely lost all of their small their small businesses, consider getting a, applying for an SBA loan anyway. You don't have to make a decision right away. And in fact, you can cancel it at any time, but go ahead and get in the queue, apply for your disaster loan to replace the totality of your business. And if as the months go by, you've maybe had second thoughts or maybe had other ideas uh, about, you know, perhaps not, not restarting that small business, then go ahead and cancel that loan because it doesn't cost you anything. But at least you have the, the assurance that you can tap into that, uh, those loan funds because they've been approved for you. Also, I'll add to this what Mike, and thank you, Mike, that was just a great rundown. I want people to understand that uh, some of the other aspects that are super important about lending uh, with SBA and, and just for background, the U.S. Small Business Administration is a cabinet level federal agency. Our day job is traditional lending. We're the entity that makes sure that all small businesses have access to capital and lending across the entire country. We did eight billion in lending traditionally, you know, last year. But one key item I want to add to what Mike had to say is if you uh, decide that to, to access these funds, we can move fairly quickly if we don't have any red flags. You know, if you've got your uh, tax returns or other basic information. If you have a smartphone, you can literally do this virtually online or go in our BRCs and do it. But let's say you get the okay and decide to move forward with the funding. Um, and Mike back me up on this. I believe um, there's a moratorium on actual even having to make payments for this for over a year uh, on the lending that you receive. So every resource that you have, you can focus uh, towards uh, recovering resiliency and getting back on your feet, which I think is another key aspect. So. Uh, anything else you want to add, Mike? We don't want to be too long, but you can go to sba.gov slash disaster. Again, sba.gov slash disaster. If you want to go ahead and start your process, 
with inf information. There's so much more on SBA.gov, obviously. But, Mike, any other URLs that you would like to mention before we wrap up? Uh, just to mention, um, today, uh, Friday, October 4th, the SBA opened up three disaster recovery centers. There's a disaster recovery center that opened today at 1 o'clock. Uh, that's in Asheville at the Asheville Chamber. Uh, yeah. They're going to be open from Monday through Friday. They may have Saturday hours. I can't recall off the top of my head. The other one is in Boone at the Appalachian Enterprise Center, also open Monday uh, through Friday. And then the third one here is in my office in Charlotte, which is a loan outreach center. We're open Monday through Friday, uh, 8 to 5 as well. Uh, more, um, more physical uh, centers are going to be opening up, but the availability to apply online has been open since Monday, September 30th. And we've already started getting our first set of loan approvals from our um, from our disaster survivors, which is great. So I will, yeah, no I will, shortage. Yeah, go ahead. One last thing that I will add is uh, if you've been displaced, if you've moved away from Asheville, if you're in Charlotte or other areas, yeah. or if you have friends from other parts of the mountains that have gone somewhere else, tell them it doesn't matter whether you're a Georgia citizen, Tennessee, Virginia, wherever you're from, go to sbadisaster.gov put your information in and then we'll take care of you wherever you happen to be. And Mike, I'll let you wrap it up. Yeah, um, just uh, thank you so much for having us. Um, I am a former longtime resident of Asheville, have many colleagues, many friends. And so, um, you know, Asheville still is is in some ways uh, my home. So um, it's um, uh, unfortunate that I've, uh, that this disaster has, uh, given me the opportunity to re reconnect with lots of folks, uh, but but it is also fortunate that uh, that I've got a, a strong community there that I can work with and that we can work with here at the SBA to help our folks and our small businesses uh, recover and stay resilient. Millions of people across the country, uh, their hearts and and uh, and their resources are all pouring towards Asheville and towards Western North Carolina and the hills of Virginia and and Tennessee and other places. So. Uh, from the bottom of our hearts, we uh, are here for you. Wish you all the best. And we look forward to doing this again soon to give you an update. Uh, and there are a certain number of counties that are covered, ancillary and, and specifics. You can look on sba.gov slash discover and see your counties around the area and make sure that you're covered. And with that, we'll wrap up. And uh, you guys have a, have a blessed and wonderful weekend. Thank you.